when you are using your ego to channel it in developing a stronger sense of self it is the most empowering thing ever it teaches you to be bold it teaches you to be daring to be more adventurous and confident to achieve anything that you want in life but there's a thin line when it becomes bad when you become oblivious of of the good of other people and exploiting others to get your way because it feels good that's when you start to feed the ego and that's when the process of consuming you starts if you let it what is up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel where we dive deep into personal development now before i dive deep into this video i want you to hit the notification bell because i don't want you to miss out on my next video that is going to be about entitlement the topic i'm talking about today is the human ego well this is our sense of self-importance it can be self-esteem it can be self-worth i'll just name a few it is a mental construction that we have set up for ourselves now before i dive into this video i just want to quickly share that it is okay to have an ego i think there's a good to it and a bad to it just like anything else that it, that that we have in life and there just has to be a balance and awareness on when to put it in the front seat and hopefully that is when we are actually channeling it to to do something that is for the greater good now without any further ado let's dive into the video <laughs> the ego comes from experiences from early childhood and early adulthood of self and it grows as we grow older but it grows bigger when we feed it more and that is when it starts to make decisions for you I am going to share five aspects in this video that, that the ego feeds on and you're going to be surprised by the fifth aspect and then share some powerful, powerful tips for you to get your ego in control. The first aspect is materialism. The ego loves to identify itself with things that enhance its self-worth. It finds attachment to material things and sometimes valuing them more than the real things like friendships, um, honesty love the second aspect is comparison the ego also loves to compare because it's constantly looking for it's constantly looking for a boost to enhance and feel good it usually causes a lot of comparison in in life situations in positions and appearance the third aspect is separation the truth is we are all connected but the ego loves to attach itself to labels that separate its superiority from others i.e i'm more important and you are not i deserve respect but you don't because of this because of that the fourth aspect is complaining the ego is never satisfied it's always and constantly and desires control and attention and this shows so much through complaining it can be through verbal speech and thoughts to ourselves. The fifth aspect is fear. If you notice all, if you notice the pattern of all these aspects, it is fear. It is psychological fear of our precious self that we think, which is coming from early childhood and early adulthood of self, because we don't really have an ego when we are young. It's just a mental construction that we have created for ourselves from collected stories written by us about ourselves and others that is actually blinding you from the truth that we are all connected. The fear of not being accepted, the fear of feeling unimportant, which is a funny fear to me because we are all complements of ourselves in one way or another. The fear of being out of control, the fear of past experiences that were not good, the fear of the future, the fear of uncertainty, the fear of the fear that comes from associating yourself with status, all that. Now, I want to ask you to comment below a situation where you noticed yourself that where you noticed your reaction was ego best. <music> Now I'm going to share some powerful tips that are, going to, that, that are going to help get your ego under control. And the first tip is to simply be aware of it. The ego is hidden in our, in our subconscious thoughts and actions. And a way to look for it is to look for the trail of emotional drama that it has left in our 
past lives it manifests in feelings like anger anxiety insecurity now don't get me wrong it is always going to be there but reducing the level that it runs sub unconsciously in our lives is the key to have it in control number two is let go of control the ego loves control with this self-image that it has built for itself now just reminding ourselves that i don't have control i don't have control over anything that is external to me whether people love you whether people hate you and love you again you don't have control number three is reducing the ego's presence and we can do this by being in the present moment because in the present moment we can't be thinking about the past we can't be thinking about this one did that this one did this we cannot be worrying about the future we are just present trying to see how the work that we are doing is providing value to at least one thing instead of doing it for recognition or monetary benefits doing things not in a way that i'm gonna get something in return but because it benefits the greater good in some way i want you to like this video if you found it helpful and dislike it if it didn't resonate with you but you can you can only get away with that if you comment below your reason why so i can get to see where you're coming from and your point of view and share this video with someone for awareness and refreshment with this subject and another thing subscribe for more deep personal development topics say hi on social media i'm going to link them down below and have a great day have a great life thank you for watching bye